haven't done any Audacity tutorials in quite a while, yet I keep getting tons of requests for them. People want Prometheus effects, B1 battle droid effects, um, they want Arkham Knight voice effects, tons of voice effect requests coming at me. So let me know below, you guys want to see more Audacity tutorials? Should I stick to hit film? Want to see more beginner stuff? Your boy's confused. Welcome to Red's Effects, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. Today, guys, we're going to be venturing back into the world of Audacity and the world of audio. Now, I've done quite a few audio effects on this channel before, and there's a playlist of them on my uh, channel at the moment, but I've never actually talked about how to actually master your audio so that it sounds better than what you actually get raw from your microphone. So in order to do this, all you need essentially is your voice, a way of recording it by means of a microphone, or I don't know, anything, your phone maybe, and the free program on a computer, Audacity. But before we actually jump into that program and talk about the various effects that you can add to like boost your voice and your vocals and make it sound better, there are three things that I want you to do while you are actually recording, as well as before you start recording. First, what I want you to do is record at a specific time that you know it'll be quiet, as well as in a room that is generally pretty full of stuff. Now, the reason you want to record in a room that's full of things is if you record in a big empty space, the sound waves are going to be bouncing all over the place and hitting you back in the face. Not going to sound that great. Two, I also want you to record at a time that you know your house or wherever you're living is particularly quiet. So maybe get up before everybody else is up or record at a time that you know everybody is, you know, doing their own thing and quiet. Not at the time where everyone's running up and down, there's a bunch of noise happening, things are falling over, the world is crashing. Your sound recording comes out trash because no amount of EQ will fix that. The second thing I want you to do is have proper microphone placement. If you have the microphone right here, it's not going to sound that great. If you have it all the way over here, it's also not going to sound great. That's why what I like to let me just give me, let me just get this back to. That's what I like to do is use the hand method. I don't know if I've heard this somewhere or if I managed to come up with it myself. I'm quite confused, but basically you want to have it in uh, your hand like this. So as you can see right here, there's the microphone right at the tip of my finger. So have your hand like this, place the microphone there, and you'll be good to go. <sighs> I think I've got dead cat hair in my nose. Sounded great. But let's say you've followed all of those tips, recorded your audio, and what you want to do is import it into Audacity, and I'll jump over there and show you a few things you can do in order to make it sound better. So here we are in Audacity, and as you can see, I've gone ahead and recorded a short clip of my voice saying something overly obvious, so let's go ahead and have a listen to how it sounds. Hello, this is my voice, and I want to make it better. Pretty flat and plain if I didn't say so myself. So the first thing you're going to do is some light noise removal. Now if you're using a really high quality microphone, you can go ahead and skip this step because for the most part your mic will have cancelled out any far away sounds. But just to show you how it's done in case you want to perform this specific step, what you want to do is record a few seconds, let's say around 5 or 6 like I've done here, of silence before you actually start speaking. So don't speak for those first few seconds after you hit record, then go ahead and talk your head off as much as you want. Well, at least I definitely do. We then want to highlight that empty portion, head up to effects and select noise reduction. We're going to keep the settings at the default values as it's always worked for me, but feel free to play around with it if you want. Let's then hit get noise profile. What Audacity is doing here is analyzing the dead space portion we recorded and selected to see what it needs to remove from the rest of the audio. Okay, let's then hit Ctrl and A to select our entire track or just select the entire track using the cursor. Head up to the effects tab and click on noise reduction once again. This time we'll just hit OK and boom, all that unwanted noise has been removed. You can now go ahead and trim that empty portion at the start off so that we're just working with our main audio. Next up, we want to bring up that volume so that the audio isn't too loud and peaking or too soft and straining for us to actually listen to. So with the entire track selected, let's head up to the effects tab and then select amplify. Then hit OK. This will normalize the entire audio track to zero decibels, which is where we want it at. So let's have a listen to what that did. Hello, this is my voice and I want to make it better. As you can hear, our voice is now much louder and at the correct volume. Right, let's now equalize that sucker. Select your track, head up to effects and select equalization. Here, what we want to do essentially is bring up the lows as well as the highs. To do that, let's hit flatten so we can draw a fresh curve. Now, this may look daunting at first, but really all you want to do is make four dots over here on the left by clicking the line. Let's then bring up that middle section, raising those two middle dots to let's say around halfway to six decibels. 
On the right hand side, let's make two dots and bring it up to around the same level, just like I'm doing here. Hit OK and let's have a listen. Hello, this is my voice and I want to make it better. As you can see, this really brought up our audio quite nicely and filled it in as well. What it's also done is cause it to clip here of the 0 dB unfortunately. So to fix that, let's head up and apply the amplify effect once again to normalize that sucker. Boom, back to normal. Okay, so our last step is optional, but also useful. So let's head up and select the compressor effect. Here, let's set the threshold to around between 20 and 30. I'm doing 25. The noise floor to anywhere between 40 and 50. I'll do 45. Keep the ratio at 2 to 1 and then drag both the attack time and the release time all the way down and then hit OK. If this happened to have made your audio peak again, repeat the amplify step just like we did before to normalize it, but it shouldn't. And as we can see, it hasn't for my track, which means that we are done. So follow all those steps and your voice will go from sounding like this. Hello, this is my voice and I want to make it better. To this. Hello, this is my voice and I want to make it better. And that's basically how you use Audacity as well as a few simple recording tips to make your voice sound a lot better. Hope you guys found this useful. If you did, let me know down below in the comment section. Share it with a bunch of your friends. Subscribe down below. We're really close. Really close to that 10k. I can, I can almost taste it. I may have been having dreams about it. Follow me on Twitter, which is linked down below. Check out some of the links in the description that I've left for you guys, as well as some of the episodes, maybe the voice episodes that I'm gonna link on the end screen of this video. And yeah, request effects down below. Have a good day, stay safe guys. Stay uh, focused, especially with all the stuff going on. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.